Different position types could be uh, static, relative, absolute, fixed, and sticky. And then these themselves can be affected with the top left, bottom, and right properties. All elements start as position static. Static, sticky, and relative are all in document flow which means they'll affect other elements around them in the way that you would expect them to. So all these elements are by default statically positioned. But if we ever play with relative right now and we make this position relative, this gives us the ability to change the top left, left right and bottom. So if I do that, I can then just start moving these around like so. Pretty straightforward, it's in the document flow, there's not really much more to say about it there. Sticky is an interesting one and it's a fairly new property, but sticky is a relative element until the browser viewport crosses a threshold that you define the top, left, right and bottom properties and then it becomes almost fixed. Um, so, and then if we make this one sticky and then make that 10, then what you'll find is that when we cross that threshold, that 10 pixel threshold, it almost becomes um, stuck to the page. So that's what we mean by sticky. Absolute and fixed cause the element they're applied to to fall out of the document flow, which, which means that elements around them won't respect the position um, or size of these elements. Absolute position allows you to move an element anywhere on the page relative to its closest relative parent. So by default, this, this is the body but then you can make it relative to a, another parent by making that parent either relative, which is kind of the most common thing you would do, but it can also be affected by, the, by being position relative or sticky or absolute. Let's play around with uh, position absolute and fix. So if I make this position absolute, it's just going to take it out of the document flow and everything, everything around it is just going to behave to the nearest inflow element. So now if I begin to play with this, zero, zero, I would expect this to be the top left of the page because by default, um, everything is uh, it's, it's respecting the body, which it absolutely is. But now if I was to make this a position relative, you'll see now that that piece of text has, is now respecting its closest relative parent. Um, these can actually be any of these properties, so it will be relative to any of these properties. The only one it doesn't respect then is, that is static. Fix is very similar to absolute in that you can move it anywhere on the page, but um, it only respects the viewport. The other element is fixed, so if I make this position fixed, you'll see that now that appears 10 to, the, 10 to uh, pixels from the top, 10 pixels from the left, and it will just follow me down the page. And you see that it's, it's taken up the width of the content inside. So what I'll need to do then is make this width 100%. And you'll see that we've got that central line text that we wanted. Both the absolute and fixed elements, you can kind of, they almost act like layers and you can control that layer with the Z index. Hey, thanks for checking out this episode. You would have heard me speak a lot about document flow in this one. And the reason for that is this is actually a clip from a longer episode called Document Flow. So if you're interested in learning more about that, and I suggest you check out the card in the video now. Uh, nothing left to say except thanks for tuning in. Um, subscribe, leave me a comment. Uh, if you have any questions as well, I'd love, to, I'd love to answer those questions. And until next time, happy no coding.